Hello everyone, my name is Alicia and my channel is Alicia's Creative Paradise and thank you for taking the time to watch. I would like to show you a journal that I've made. This is a beautiful journal that uh, I enjoyed making and I would like to just show it to you. Here is the closure. It is the string that I've stitched. It actually uh, does not get tangled up either. It's really pretty and I love the way it turned out. On the front, I have a llama that I've collaged together with some bird paper. I got the idea from Stitches by Julia. She has a channel that she does a lot of sewing and different projects. She actually did a pillow and it was beautiful and I just, I fell in love with it. It's not exactly like hers, but um, I love the way mine turned out. I have some buttons and some paper flowers, some coffee dyed fabric that I've sewn, and this journal is not perfect and not meant to be, so that's what I love about it. Here's the uh, spine. I did some of those eyelets on there, and let's get into it. Let me just open it and show you. So of course, you know, your the signature is replaceable whenever you're done with it. You can keep the the outside and put another uh, signature in yourself because I have it in there with the seam binding. And uh, I'll just get going flipping through here for you. Here's a little tuck spot with some fussy cutted uh, fussy cut flower there. I have a lot of stitching in this journal. I love to use my sewing machine and you'll see a lot of stitching and uh, lots of different uh, types of paper pad. Here's a tuck spot. Uh, you'll see a lot of tracing paper that I coffee dyed and ink dyed. Little printables that I actually have incorporated in here. And some different tuck spots. There's one there, little booklet to stitch. There's a little paper bag to put things in and more fussy cutting. Some bowl clips. And I put some extra paper pad in there for different reasons. If anybody has this, they can actually fussy cut more or use it as a, a place to journal. Lots of lace and this is a, you know what that is, that's a paint sample that I wanted to put in there and I think it's really pretty. And here's a little book and I've stitched in the, the papers, different kinds of paper for writing. I actually bought my first Artie Mays uh, printable and I really like it. It's really pretty and delicate. This is from Lindsay Zanor. She has her printables. I love her stuff. I love her channel. Here's a pearl and some lace and more stitching. And there's a pocket here. Here is another tuck spot with some graph paper to write on. And I collaged these together, which is so fun and stitched. And there's another tuck spot with the blue ink dyed uh, tracing paper love this I love this right here this tool and the button and the paper it's so pretty the way it turns out after you're done and here is another pocket with some pieces to write on and they just look so pretty with the inking the lace and the flower and the little clothes pin Here's a place to add photographs or actually letters or things to store there. More stitching. And here's some paper flowers that I've sewn together on my sewing machine. I love the way that turned out. That's really pretty. Another tuck spot with the paint sample. It matches this paper and I just love the way it looks together. Extra paper. More writing space. Lindsay Zanora printable. Love her botanical printables. 
another tuck spot, more collaging, another tuck spot, and these are actually from a punch. I made those, these little flowers. Love the way they turned out, inked up. Love the way this looks with this little green button. So pretty. Another tuck spot, another tuck spot. Actually sewed this too, this fabric ribbon. Another tuck spot here. Cute little bird, Lindsay. It's an oar. Now I took some pages from a flower gardening book. I like the way that looks. That looks really pretty in here too. So I added that in. More of the fabric ribbon there. More tuck spots, or uh, actually the pocket here. Here's a glassine pocket and one of those little flowers that I put together in the punch. And then here's another tuck spot with some more of that tracing paper. And I thought it went well with this beautiful flower book page. And this right here comes from a package that I bought at My Michael's. And it has like different little miniature book pages in it. I love that. More stitching here. Another little random tuck spot there. More of Lindsay's printable there. The one of those. Pocket. And here they are. I think these are so cute. I like the way they look in these pockets. Here's a different kind of tuck. Let's you can tuck it in here, and you can tuck it in here. I like the way that looked. And here's this one with some rickrack and another handmade flower, stitching, collaging, tuck spot. Another pocket, another flower page. Stitching and a tuck spot there. There's another glassine pocket with these little book pages. And here's a button with some seam binding there and extra paper, tuck spot, more flower book page and paper flower with a pearl. I love sewing all those little elements on there, the pearl and the sequins. It looks so pretty. And another little pocket with a handmade flower from the punch. More stitching. And that's it. That is my journal. I hope you like it. I hope you come back for more. Of course, this is my uh, first video, so I am a little nervous. So I hope you like it. I hope you come back for more to see what else I'm going to be doing. I will be putting out more videos and trying to show all of the work that I do because I do love paper and I love junk journals. So thank you for watching and have a great day.